Kenya appears close to achieving the 90-90-90 global 2030 targets with over 96% of people who know their HIV positive status being on life-saving treatment while 90% of those on treatment have controlled the HIV virus posing a very low risk of HIV transmission. According to the Kenya Population-Based HIV Impact Assessment 2018 survey report conducted between June 2018 to February 2019 there are approximately 1.3 million adults aged between 15 and 64 years living with HIV in Kenya, which translates to a national prevalence rate of 4.9%. HIV prevalence is twice as high among women at 6.6% compared to men at 3.1%. The report further reveals that there are approximately 139,000 children aged between 0 and 14 years living with HIV in Kenya. The annual percentage of new infections among adults was put at 0.14%, an estimated 36,000 new infections per year. According to the latest report, the top five HIV high prevalence counties with a prevalence of more than 9% are Homa Bay, Kisumu, Siaya, Migori and Busia, while prevalence was lowest in nine counties of Samburu, Tana River, Garissa, Wajia, Mandera, Marsabit, Kiambu, West Pokot and Baringo. The first 90 is a challenge and I think as you can see through the whole cascade, either in children or pediatrics, is a challenge in identifying the people who are HIV positive. But we are not doing that bad, at least we are more than 70%, yet we know we should be doing more than 90%, we are doing that. We have a challenge especially among men, and I think you know the uh, men in terms of their behavior of um, accessing healthcare is an issue. Speaking during the Lounge Health Chief Administration Secretary Dr. Rashid Aman noted that Kenya was committed to the Joint United Nations Program on HIV and AIDS 90-90-90 targets for ending the epidemic. It is important that we are able to monitor the HIV response program and collect all the data required to understand HIV, its burden on our citizens and where the gaps still remain. To control the epidemic. Stakeholders calling for a need to redesign HIV programs to eliminate mother to child transmission once and for all. Clearly, children are being left behind. So it is our duty after this launch to together sit and say, Where are we leaving children? If testing is the problem, why are we not investing in point of care early infant diagnostics? U.S. ambassador celebrating Kenya's tremendous progress towards ensuring that a vast majority of those diagnosed with HIV are not only receiving care, but successfully managing their condition. Our investment supports Kenya's vision as a strong healthcare system delivering affordable, quality services to Kenyan women, men, and children. A new momentum is now building among nations around the world. The nations have committed that by the end of this year, 90% of people living with HIV will know their status, while 90% of those diagnosed with this virus will achieve the antiretroviral therapy, while those under this therapy will be able to sustain the virus suppression, the famous 90-90-90-2030 global target. Peter Channel 1 News, Nairobi.